Good morning, my people. Good morning. Welcome back to this very channel. We have come with more news and updates. I want to give you a glimpse, just a little clip, um, where Asimba Asewaju Tunubu fell down Gatakoto for ground. That is how he is rolling. That is the presidency you are hearing today. Look at it very well. The special guest of honor and review officer for today's historic occasion, Excellency President Ashwaju. The special guest of honor and review officer for today's historic occasion, Excellency President Ashwaju. So that was Tunubu that fell down. I hope you watched that clip very well. Our Prime Minister said we should pray for him not to die. So that it will not be because uh, Tunubu died. That was why you were able to declare we are praying. No. He will be alive and we will exit peacefully. Yes, because their impunity has got to the heights. Next on the list is the international human rights lawyer speaking on behalf of Biafra, speaking truth to power. Yes, hence the Ohanese Ndibu. All the Igbo lawyers, both home and abroad, all of them, they've gone mute. And that's terrible. Why are you silent? Your silence this time is not golden. If one speak, another speak. If all join together to speak, Biafra will come. Our freedom will come. Subjugation will stop. Why have you gone suddenly? Mom, why? I ask again. Okay, let's hear this uh, um, Barista Katanga speaking for us again. Thank you. Let's hear. Uh, uh, Dr. Matanga, that's why we are, we are saying that Biafans are telling the world we don't even need to get a DNA test of Buhari to know that the man uh, uh, going about saying he's Buhari is not Buhari. So we all know that. So we don't even need the DNA to tell us that. Even a child. Yeah, you, you yeah. might not need the DNA, but the court might, might need the DNA to sentence him. <laughs> are you here? Are you with me? Now? I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. For you, I'm with you. For you, you we don't, don't need the DNA. Yeah, we don't need. We don't, but the we court, don't need it. The court, the old baby in London, in central London, we need the DNA of Harry. Is he the real one or is he the one already in another shell grave? So once they do that, then they sentence him. The thing is that the, no, the, 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 the place you are calling the, is where the, all the lies matters, if, it, if you understand what my my, that that, that... my sister, <laughs> my sister, don't even worry. Okay. I'm also here. I came here when I was 29. I've lived here 40 years. So don't worry. I also know the corners. I know my children are now big. You can kill me if you want. Okay. That time I was worried. Thank you. That, that time I was worried. They were young. They wouldn't know where to go. But now they are married. One of them has given you five good children. Yeah. And those are the, the younger boys I'm fighting for. Okay. Thank you so much. If, if, need... Even your, the, 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 uh, the caption uh, uh, you, you used today, Nigeria should be expelled from the Commonwealth for abuse of human rights, is, is, is enough for me for today. So I'm very, very yes. grateful. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. We you. must shout. We must tell everybody that this place, that man, Tunubu, you see with those big, big, big clothes wearing around, he can't make even a speech for 10 minutes. He's finished. It's, but the human is, is, is finished. Yes, finito. It's, it's incredible. He's finished. He's gone. He can't speak for 10 minutes. Have you ever seen uh, Mr. Mr. Tunubu speaking for more than 10 minutes? The funny thing is that the same people who knew quite well everything about him, they initially when he was uh, uh, um, sworn in at, uh, as uh, the president of Nigeria, they, some of them... Some of them uh, stayed clear, but after a while, because of what they intend to gain 
from Nigeria, they started supporting him, which is so, 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 so hypocrit hypocritical. It's, it's unfair because when you talk about something good, you should stick to it. Not when you, after a while you turn, you, you turn around to, to uh, uh, support evil. That's, 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 I just have no, I don't have any respect for all this, uh, 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 the West anymore. They don't have, deserve our respect at all. You can't have you can't have respect for the conservative government whose owners are, are the richest people who drill the oil in America. In in, in Nigeria, sorry. You didn't know that? I know. The conservative I know. government I know. in Britain I know. Is for the rich people. I know. The Labour government where I belong to 47 years is for the poor people like us, downtrodden, the black minority, those refugees like Matanga, who arrived there as a refugee and studied in the same universities they have. Exactly uh, and they are, the not ashamed, they are not ashamed that it is our oil that they use Call, call themselves of course uh, uh, um, for, rich countries, uh, for rich countries they, they but the same people you look down on are the ones feeding you and then you go behind to say that you're giving uh giving us aid shame on them yes so what age you look at nigerians who go to the i want to give you an teddy i know i'm going to allow you to come in teddy I want to give you, you people on this platform education on one thing. Over 10,000 Nigerians every day, Ten over 10,000 go to the American embassy for visa every day. Out of 10,000, you pay how much? Naira. Anybody here who knows how much Naira for a visa to go to America? When you apply for an American visa, how much do you pay? Anybody who knows the figure here? I, I, Mr. Teddy, I, I, can you? Can, Teddy, Teddy, can you? Can Teddy? Do you know the figure? You, you are making noise. You can remove, remove him or you mute his mic. I'll mute his mic. Did you ask me a question? Yes, I was asking you a question. Yeah. Yeah, I was okay. asking you a question. How many, do you that? know how yes. much you pay for an American visa? If you want to go to America, how much money do you pay in Naira? Um, in Naira, I didn't pay actually. Uh, my visa I got when I was in UAE. Uh, I didn't pay in Naira. Yeah, but how so, much? But, uh, I American paid. Uh, Anybody who knows? Okay. That in Nigeria, honestly, I don't know how much they pay. Yeah. Okay. Say fine. Close your mic and let me tell you, use use the Ugandan style. Okay. In Uganda, every day, Mr. Teddy, can you now. can you mute your mic, please? In Uganda, every every day, five thousand Ugandans go to the embassy of America to seek a visa. Either for work, for travel, for travel, my relative, this 5,000. Each person pays $147. Are you hearing me? If you have a calculator there, is a non-refundable? Am I am I wrong? You're correct. You are not wrong. You are correct. Aha, uh -huh. non-refundable money. Can you see how this imperialist work on us? Non-refundable. 
out of 5,000, on the 500 people each day are given visas. 4,500, their visas are collapsed. Are you hearing me? Yes, we are. Hello? Yes, we are. But the money is not refunded. Have you seen how much money they make every day? American Embassy makes that money 4,500 times $147. How that look at the amount of money they make every day in one country for you to go and see nothing but to go and see violence in America, where a small boy can pull out an AK 47 and kill you. They have nothing for us to see there. Africa has got enough to, for us to see big lions, big waterfalls like the ones in Nigeria, which you have not used to make a, 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 a electricity. There are very many. Sorry. Good uh, women in Nigeria. Sorry, David. Good women in Nigeria. Wait. Good <laughs> women from Emo State in Nigeria. David Matanga, please, our chief of staff is here. Her name is Doctor. Yeah, so please. I am going to call him to come up. Her name. Her name is uh, Doctor Ngozi Orabweze. You can see her on the. I have talked. Yeah. Right. Tell her to to raise the fingers. Uh, to to pick the microphone. I'll send her the microphone. Now I want you to know. Someone touched on aid on what they give us that they are giving us. Do you know that that is our money they give us back? They say we have given aid to Uganda. It is the visa money. It is the visa money they collect from us every day. Did you know that trick? Why should America have an embassy everywhere? Because they collect free money from hapless Africans like you and me. You are lining up, you are paying. You, why is it that if you don't get the visa, they refund your money? Have they ever refunded your money? Do they refund your money when you get you fail to get the visa? No way, no way. That, there you are. Use your brains now and see how these countries have exploited us. I was talking to my government official this morning on phone from Accra. I was talking to him. I said, when I become a minister of state for internal affairs in charge of immigration, American will pay $2,000 for a visa before he comes to see my Uganda Maction Falls and our gorillas in Mount El El Renzoli. We have the best gorillas on the planet Earth. Before you come to see them, $2,000 per visa. That's how countries in Europe collect money on us. All of us are, some of us are in Europe. I can see very many of you here. We lose money that way. We lose money. We pay these people. We pay these institutions. Have you seen that? We are, in fact, the money that they send back to us, it is our money. The visa money of failed applications is what pays the salaries of all these ambassadors. Have you seen that? We are useless people, Africans. We are black. We are because they called us what? We we are in trouble. So when they get a poor leader, a bad leader, like a Mr. Tunubu, who cannot speak for 10 minutes, they utilize him. You think if you don't take more of these messages to them, they will, the more you take to them, the more they say, oh, they know. These people know about it. Eh? Now in their rooms, they are thinking, are, are, are they aware of this? So the more, that's why they are intelligence systems, isn't it? Why are they intelligence systems? The intelligence system is in the world because they find out that do they know about it. 
you think for Tony Blair to go and invade Iraq, didn't the British government know that they are using a wrong a fake dossier? They knew. But they used a the wrong dossier to go and invade Iraq and destroy it. They finished it. Hello? They finished Iraq. And later on, he came and said, I'm sorry. The, the dossier we used was fake. But unfortunately, they have destroyed the country. So when you are in this war, you must think in all spheres. You must look at every part, every, every publicity that can bring the plight of the people of Biafra. Utilize it. Utilize it. If you can speak about the plight of the people of Biafra suffering, being killed by an army, which is supposed to protect them, use it. Use it. Use that, and Africa will rise and shine again. But I'm not going to sit here and call for African unity when one part of Africa is bleeding. So, so yeah, doctor, please, uh, uh, Dr. Ngozi, uh, our uh, chief of staff, please, can you take off the mic? Uh, uh, maybe uh, if you have any question for uh, Dr. Matanga, please. She is there. I don't know. Maybe she's requesting for mic because I'm not a co-host. So I think Dr. Matanga. No, I, I can't see. I can't see the, the, any request is yeah. Her name is Dr. Ngozi or Abueze or just Ngozi or Abueze. She is here. Yes, she's Ngozi or Abueze. She is here. You have become the spokeswoman. <laughs> no wonder you are called the mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I sort up this is another way of a fight. We can use so many methods in exposing dictatorship, in expo exposing brutality. There are several ways of slaughtering a cat. Dr. Ngozi will tell you that there are so many ways a patient can be saved. Mine is a political legal bypass. I'm now using a, a bypass. If the heart is, is, is broken down, I'll use a bypass to reach the heart to pump in the truth. The truth here is Commonwealth needs to wake up. They need to know, as those leaders assemble in Samoa in two months' time to three months' time, they need to know that there is something wrong taking place in a place called Southeast Nigeria. So thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Gozi, just a minute, and I call this gentleman called Teddy. Teddy has been on this microphone for a long time. Teddy, what do you have to tell us? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Masanga. Uh, this is my, yes. actually, second time of your speech. The other time we were talking extensively on uh, the roadblocks in the southeast eastern part of Nigeria, the Biafran side. And uh, we deliberated on it extensively, which uh, you offered uh, some uh, good advice and uh, narrated their whole story of when you went on Christmas somewhere in the East and how long you spent when your colleague or somebody as your friend came after some days due to roadblocks. Yes from Monisha and so on and so forth. I remember that was the first time I joined your speed. 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, international lawyer. Thank you for helping us. You know, putting shame on their face the more is the only thing we can do for now. That's the revolution that we are saying. If they dare respond, they will hear what will happen. But their strategy too is to do as if they are not hearing us. That is their strategy and that's demonic. If they dare respond, if they dare respond, they will hear from the whole world. Um, we, are, we are daring them. Edwa Kanono continues. We must say the truth the way it is and nothing will happen to us. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you once again for hearing us. Thank you.